In every journey, you start from zero, and then you proceed. And every roundabout, you have to stop in the giveaway section, and if it's free to go, you proceed. And when you've encountered a traffic light across the road, you wait for the light to turn green before you go. And then you proceed again. Either you want to turn right or you want to turn left, depending on where you're going. But you have to go smoothly because there may be cars in your right or in your left. And then you position your car again on which road you're going. And then here comes across another stoplight. You have to wait for the color to change into green. And then you keep on waiting. And then when it turns green, you go again. And then you proceed. Sometimes the road is too dark. And sometimes it's raining. But you keep on going. You keep on looking for signs. You keep on looking for the speed limit of this particular road. Or sometimes the road is too dark for you to see any signs at all. But you keep on going. The road may have a lot of humps, but you still keep on going. The signs are so vague, you can't even see it, but you keep on going. You don't even know where to turn right or where to turn left because it's too dark, but you keep on going. You don't even know where it ends, but you keep on going. You look for signs, you look for any particular light that will lead you the way but you can't see it because it's too dark you go up or you go down depending on where you're going but you keep on going sometimes you look for any controlled zone but you can't find it until one day at the end of the road you find what you're looking for there is the control zone, but you keep on going. This is exactly as how we are in life or as a YouTuber. We all start from zero. We all start from a zero day old and then we start our journey. We don't even look at for signs sometimes, but most of the time we do. We look for signs and in life, there is no speed limit. It's entirely up to you, but you always have to remember to be in control. You always have to remember that even the road is too dark for you, even you can't see the signs, because God is with you to guide you. You always have to remember that in every road, there may be hams, there may be lights to switch on into red, and turn into green there's always a warning light there's always a sign until you'll find what you're looking for maybe you're looking for a controlled zone in your life a controlled zone in your youtube channel our youtube channel may be in a dark place because we really don't know what you're going to upload you don't have any ideas you don't even have the commitment to sustain your niche. You don't even know where you're going. You don't even know if you're going to have subscribers. You don't even know if you're going to have followers. And you don't even know if you have a viewers, but you keep on going. You keep on sharing your ideas, your vlogs, your experiences. You keep on going because you know that you are a YouTuber. Sometimes you keep on looking for inspiration. You keep on looking what you're going to upload. You keep on copying somebody else. You keep on looking for um, ideas of anyone that you think that you can do it too. But sometimes you failed because you keep on doing what they are doing because you really wanted to see yourself to be like them. You always wanted to take the road even if it's too long just to be in the pedestal of success. And then sometimes you fall, sometimes you fail, sometimes you disappoint yourself, but you keep on going. This is how life is. 
you still keep on going. Sometimes you really push yourself to see the signs. You always even ask God, please give me a sign if I'm going or not. But sometimes those signs were so invisible. Those signs so vague, we can't even see anything. It's too dark. But we keep on going. You keep on looking. You keep on looking for the signs. You keep on looking for followers. You keep on looking for subscribers. You keep on looking for anything that will work for your channel. But you forgot that what you're looking for is just within you. You forgot to ask yourself what you really wanted to do. You forgot to ask yourself what you really enjoy doing. You forgot to ask yourself, is this what God's want me to do? Is this my purpose? Because if you know the purpose, if you've encountered the purpose, if you know yourself, if you surrender yourself to God for you to know your purpose, it's so easy for you to proceed. That's your green light for you to proceed with your purpose. Because without your purpose, you don't know where you're going. You really have to identify yourself. Either you wanted to commit or you don't want it to commit. Either you wanted to go or you want to stop. Or sometimes when you're disappointed because of those hams across your way, you just want to quit. But you forgot that the road is too long and the flag of success is just waiting for you. It's waving. You know that you can't see it yet because there's no like straight road. There may be ups, there may be downs, there may be right, left. Sometimes there's crossroad. You don't even know where to exit because you really don't know your purpose. But if you really know your destination, it's so easy for you to plan things. It's so easy for you to visualize things. It's so easy for you to wish things because you really know what you're going to do. You really know where you're going. You really know how to make things happen. Because from this day forward, I would like to encourage each one of you that there may be failures, there may be disappointments, but you always have to remember that from this day forward, if you can turn your can't into can, your can't do into can do, into I don't want to do into I want to do, because from this day forward, I would love you to commit to yourself and not to anyone else that you wanted to be a successful, a successful mom, a successful daughter, a successful individual. Entirely as a whole, you wanted your life to be a successful. I don't want myself to be remembered by doing anything, but I want myself to be remembered that I live life to the fullest. Because sometimes you forgot that in life, there might be troubles, there may be sadness, there might be failures, but we keep on going until our mission ends. But we don't know when, when, where, how, but we keep on going. So it's entirely up to you. Your life is your responsibility. Your happiness, your failures is your responsibility. So in our YouTube channel, we always say, oh, I really don't know what to do. I really don't know what to upload. I really don't know. I really don't know. But you wanted to be a YouTuber. So you keep on going. We always wanted to be so free to do anything. But always remember, in every road, there's like a controlled zone. In YouTube, there's also a cold, a so-called controlled zone, as we say. There's some policies and guidelines that we are adhered to follow. There is no time that you can just put there 12 to 1, 1 to 2 for the control zone. No. In our YouTube channel, it's all the time. It's like our success, we don't really know when to come because only God knows when is the best time to see his child 
happy, successful, sad, disappointed. He is in control. So you surrender yourself to God. God, be in control of my life so I know where I am going. You always say, God, please allow me to see the light so I know which road to take because I don't want to be in a dark zone. I don't want to be in a dark road because I want light. So it is you who choose to see the light. It is you who choose which road to take because you know where you're going. You know your destination. You don't even want to see any signs because you really know where to go. As if you've memorized the road to success. You've mastered the road to success. That's why you really know the road. Because before going on into your journey, you've started with the planning, visualization. You really wanted to see, okay, even it's too dark, even it's raining. You don't need to see signs. You don't need to see the speed limit because in life, there's no speed limit. You should know what's the best speed for your life. Either you go smoothly, slowly, but surely. Either you go fast, but sometimes you wanted to press the brake for you to stop, but it's uncontrollable, but you just wanted to stop. So it is you who makes everything either to go or to stop. So be yourself for you to be able to know your speed limit. Control yourself so you know when to go, when to stop, when to proceed, when to wait. So in this video, I would like you to see yourself be in control of your journey as you are with God because I wanted you to welcome success in your life. I wanted you to see light, not just darkness, but even if the road is too dark for you, just keep on going. Even the road is so hampy, even the road have a lot of humps, just keep on going because God is with you. Don't be scared because God is with you. So even if we started from zero, that's okay because you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from your experience. So I challenge you to turn your can't into can. Welcome to a new life. Welcome to a new you. Thank you for watching.